What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to be unboxing the GTX 1080 FTW from EVJ. This is not a paid endorsement. It happened to be on sale at NCIX, so, uh, and it was the cheapest one by far. I actually have an X58 system, I know, right? For 980X Core i7 CPU. Uh, I've been using this thing since like 2007 or something like that, and it's really held up. Uh, I recently upgraded to an A7S II Sony camera, and that's where I started to see a bottleneck. And what I'm finding is that in Adobe Premiere Pro CC, when I'm rendering out, uh, the final output, it's actually, it's it's starting to slow down now. It's taking a really long time. Plus with some of the effects that I put on uh, the timeline, like Lumetri Color and some of the other GPU uh, accelerated effects, it's starting to really bog down a little bit. So I bought this. Uh, I'm gonna pop out the 780 Ti and um, replace it with this. But first let's uh, do a quick unboxing. I'm sure that not a whole lot has changed in the GPU unboxing space. It was actually one of my very first videos ever. I think it was of a, uh, uh, it was definitely an Nvidia card. It was probably a gigabyte card. They were just breaking into the Canadian market. Uh, we saw an opportunity to help them uh, get into the community. Just the overall industry has gotten more mature. And uh, you know, I'm, I know that I haven't been very active in that community for quite a little while now, but you know, it's something that I definitely want to get back into at some point. So, uh, well, one thing I've noticed is that, man, these cover boxes are taking a lot more time to open up. So I'll have to open up the other flap. This cover is not coming off. It's kind of annoying. I might have to cut it off. I'd rather not do that, but EVGA, what have you done? Okay, so here it comes out. All right, so it looked like it was a little bit stuck. So there's a cover. The cover basically shows you all the specs and everything like that. This is the FTW version of the car. Uh, it is uh, slightly overclocked over the regular one. Uh, again, 1080 series uses the GD GDR5X memory. It's not quite as fast as some of the newer memory from their competitor but uh, I trust NVIDIA cards mainly because I do use uh, Adobe Premiere Pro and a lot of the effects support NVIDIA cards just a little bit better right now. So here's the NVIDIA, or sorry, EVJ box for the GTX 1080. Opening it up. So it's a card. Here's a piece of foam. There's some stuff falling out. Uh, what is this? Oh, it's an envelope full of stuff. Oh, that's cool. Uh, this is probably a poster of some sort. They used to give out posters. There you go. There's a nice EVGA poster of some sort of robot android thing. And inside this portfolio there is stickers and... Ah, it's a little quick start guide with all of the uh, ports on the back, what this card has and what they're for, so you don't go plugging things into places where they don't belong. Uh, there's the driver CD, which no one uses. I wish they would just put USB drives in this. I'm sure it would cost more money, but it would just be so much more useful. Or better yet, why don't we just reduce weight and waste and just put like a, uh, please download drivers here. There is a case badge though, which is included, which is kind of nice. It's this little thing here, right here. That's kind of cool. It's kind of a value add. And another manual, which uh, most of us would not use. Uh, I'll save this for one sec here. I'm just gonna go through some of the accessories. So you get some power connectors. I haven't really looked at them, but I, yeah. One, one eight pin power, one eight pin power. Yeah, so just some extra power that this thing needs to run so you can adapt some of the cables in your power supply. And now the moment we've all been waiting for, now, these cards have gotten a lot more sturdy since, uh, um, since some of the earlier cards they have in box. They come with really massive back plates now, like this guy right here. And the cards have just gotten way more massive. Like, check this out. Overall, this is a 1080, this top-end one, uh, besides the XP and the TI, and of course the, uh, the, the Titan. But still, it's a really super beefy card. It's also a lot heavier. So uh, I see these um, retention mechanisms and some of the newer motherboards that are uh, holding down the cards a lot more sturdy. Um, I think those are now finally necessary because this, man, this thing's a tank. Like, check out this thing. This is a, uh, 
what is this thing? It's a GTX 570 with 1280 megabytes. I'm bored. Check that out. So here, here's the card. Here's one of the first cards I ever unboxed. And here is a card from 2017. Now, now this, is, this is a pretty massive card. This was a pretty massive card back then. It was still a GTX 570. Now this requires two 8-pin connectors. This requires a 6 and an 8. Uh, the higher end version of this, the 580 at the time, that required also um, two 8 pins. The heat that this gave off was, was quite a bit more immense than the Pascal architecture. So, and this probably has at least, oh, just off the top of my head, probably at least five times the amount of performance uh, over this guy right here. I'm going to install it right now and um, start and I'm going to hopefully see some performance benefits. Uh, my X58 is old, but uh, it hasn't let me down for video editing. So I'm going to continue to use it until it probably dies. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you again in the next video. Take care. Bye.